Hello and welcome. Let's talk about gastric outlet obstruction. So, what are the causes of gastric outlet obstruction? It may be congenital or acquired. Congenital is pyloric obstruction due to congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. Acquired is due to gastric carcinoma. Pyloric stenosis secondary to peptic ulceration due to chronic donor ulcer. Adult pyloric stenosis and pyloric mucosal diaphragm. The clinical features, symptoms, the pain is severe and dull, aching constant pain in the epigastric region. In some patients, it may be unremitting and in other cases, it may largely disappear. Pain is usually periodic in nature and is more in empty stomach and relieved with intake of food. Vomiting is projectile in nature and contains, contains undigested food materials in large quantity which is full smelling and frothy and totally lacking in bile. There is loss of appetite and there is weight loss. Signs, wasting and poor nutritional status, anemia, dehydration, fullness in the left hypochondria may be present, visible gastric peristalsis passing from left to right, positive suction splash, bowel sound may be increased due to excessive peristaltic action of the stomach, ascolto percussion taste shows dilated stomach, and confused status may be seen because of the electrolyte alkalosis and electrolyte change. Investigations Specific investigations include upper GI endoscopy with biopsy of the area around the pylorus to exclude malignancy, and barium meal x ray of the stomach and duodenum with duodenal cap series, which shows absence of duodenal cap, dilated stomach where greater curvature is below the level of iliac crest. Motor stomach and barium will not pass into the duodenum. Routine investigations for treated plant. RTC and DC of WBC, ESR, hemoglobin percentage, blood urea, serum creatinine, blood sugar, serum electrolytes, x ray of the chest, post anterior view, and ECG. Treatment Preoperative preparation includes correction of dehydration, IV normal saline, correction of electrolyte imbalance by IV normal saline with supplementation of potassium, correction of anemia by blood transfusion, correction of hyperproteinemia by high protein diet, amino acids, and human albumin infusion. Gastric lavage is done before each feed three days prior to surgery. First day, second day, and third day. Now, aims of the stomach preparation before operation includes reduction of the size of the stomach, increase in the tonicity of the stomach, and decrease in the mucosal edema. So, what are the operative procedures done in case of gastric outlet obstruction? This includes bilateral truncal vagotomy with gastrojejunostomy, highly selective vagotomy with gastrojejunostomy. Highly selective vagotomy with pyloric dilatation, endoscopic treatment with balloon dilatation, and occasionally duodenal stent distortion can be considered in specialist center. So, why gastric lavage is given in gastric outlet obstruction? Gastric lavage is given to reduce the size of the stomach, to increase tonicity of the stomach, and decrease mucosal edema. How gastric lavage is given? Gastric lavage is done before each feed, four to five days before the surgery. And rice tube is inserted into the stomach and gastric juice is aspirated and normal saline is allowed to run through the rice tube and then aspirated back. It is repeated until the return is clear. So, what are the consequences of gastric outlet obstruction? Anatomical effects include hypertrophy of the musculature of the stomach and later huge dilatation of the stomach. Metabolic effects include dehydration, hyponatremia, hypokalemia, hypochloremia, metabolic alcoholosis, and late stage includes paradoxical aciduria. So, what are the sequence of the changes of the electrolytes due to gastric outlet obstruction? Due to vomiting, there is loss of fluid rich in potassium and chloride, leads to hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis, and as a compensatory mechanism of metabolic alkalosis, kidney exits low chloride, chloride and more bicarbonate. Sodium is also lost along with bicarbonate, and hyponatremia and dehydration is seen. Because of dehydration, a phase of the sodium retention follows, leading to sodium is conserved in exchange of potassium and pot uh, hydrogen ion. And there is paradoxical aciduria and hypokalemia. In hypochromic metabolic alkalosis, the plasma ionized calcium level falls, leading to hypercalcemia, hematoconfusion, and titani. Can titani occur in gastric obstruction? Titani can occur due to alkalosis as ionized calcium binds with protein and blood calcium level falls. Ionized calcium is the physiological active form of calcium, and reduction of this causes titani. Although total calcium contents of the body remains normal. End of the topic.